What up, peeps? It's Gabe, and I'm coming because I received a new unit from Best Lace Wigs. This is another curly unit that they sent to me. This is gonna be straight out of the box. Um, I got a larger box, and when it came, I was like, why is this box so big? So inside, it comes with a unit tag that has some hair care instructions and then it talks about the style of the unit and all that good stuff. OSW015 and a 1B and it's 16 inches. I'll also put that stuff down below in the description box. This tab on like how to attach a full lace, all that stuff, how to remove it, blah blah blah. Catalog and return and exchange information. And what else was in this box was this and I'm like what is this open it up and it's a wallet I was like oh that's nice so I don't know if this was like a promotion or a special that they were doing but I thought it was nice just a red wallet um so it looks like dun, dun, dun. I can, you can never go wrong with a new wallet right so I thought that was cool Thanks, Best Lace Wigs. That was really thoughtful. Got that in a wallet. All right, this is the unit right here. And let me, can you see the little pattern there? It's kind of like a crinkly, like wet and wavy type of pattern. It's kind of what it looks like. And the lace is still on. It is a full lace. It is full lace and it comes with two combs on the side and the adjustable straps in the back. Here's a close up on the lace. Um, doesn't look like this unit has any baby hairs, which is fantastic because I always cut off the baby hair. <laughs> because I just don't need them. They're always doing way too much. So what I like to do is start from the side. What I'm doing here. You just want to cut along the edge of the hairline. Try not to cut any of the actual hair. If this is your first unit, you may want to put this on a mannequin head just to make sure you don't cut any of the hair. I've cut a million wigs, so I'm pretty comfortable in doing it without a mannequin. But if you're not comfortable, girl, stick it on a mannequin before you mess something up. For real. And then the good thing about this, like if you are not sure, you can always do it, you know, leave a little bit out and then go back and clean it up. Um, it's an extra step, but just in case you're not sure with what you're doing, you can always do it that way. So here's the finished cut. And you know, if you come across any areas where you could cut a little bit more, then you can just snip, snip. But really, it doesn't have to be exact. Just make sure in the front that you've got it down to where the hair starts. That's where it matters the most. There will also be lace at the back, and this is like the easiest to cut. Just from here. Snip, snip, and since it's in the back, it's much easier and you don't have to worry about being so precise. Okay, so here is the unit on, fresh out of the pack, and it's really, really full. Like, I am a fan of the fullness. I think the density is like 150, which is like on the higher side. Y'all know I love my hair big and thick and full, so this is like right up my alley. It's very, very soft. That's one thing I will say about best, best Lace Wigs, like, both of my units from them have been like uber soft, like, oh, just feels good. Now, I'm not a fan of this, like, curl pattern being extremely defined right now, like, I'll turn around, give you the full turnaround so you can see what it's looking like. It's got great body, um, but yeah. I would like this to be bigger or at least a little less defined so I think I don't know if I should brush it or if I should just run my fingers through it I'm gonna start running my fingers through it now I am getting um, some hairs but it's not a whole lot 
but you know with with hair like this it tends to be high maintenance so anytime you have like indian curly or brazilian curly when it's curly like this it tends to be high maintenance. so i'm not surprised at all okay so here's one side raked out compared to straight out of the box finger raking straight out of the box it's similar to the other one but just not as kinky and i like that um i like the length on this one like i wouldn't I wouldn't fool with cutting this one. Y'all, that other one, I've got a little scissor happy with it. And <laughs> I think I cut a little bit too much. But uh, this, I don't think I would cut at all. Maybe just like these little ratchet ends. But that's about it. Now I will probably tweeze the part just a little bit because it's kind of thin. But other than that, y'all, this is cute. This is some summer hair right here, for real, for real. I'm gonna take a piece of, just a piece here and twist it. Just to kind of pull some of it out of my face a little bit. Oh yeah, so this hair is perfect for the summertime. I love this curl pattern. I love that all you have to do is kind of wet it down to tame it a little bit. I'll probably use my John Frieda Frizz Ease products just to keep it from getting ridiculously big. But this, this is a winner right here, okay? Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you know what to do. You can leave those down below as well. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all of that good stuff. I'll put all of my links down below in the description box so you guys can keep up with me. And yeah, I think that's it. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye.